Remember as a kid how much fun it was to go to McDonald's, going to the drive-thru, uh, getting your Happy Meal, your toy, milkshake, your french fries, right? Remember how much fun that was? Well, for seven-year-old Jocelyn Adams in Chicago, Illinois, it would be her last trip ever to McDonald's. Another innocent child caught in senseless gun violence in Chicago. And of course, this is another uh, sad, disturbing, senseless incident that you won't hear any protests, any marches, any outrage, and you won't see Black Lives Matter uh, denouncing this senseless killing of innocent children. And yet these stupid motherfuckers still got the nerve to ask me, what is my problem with Black Lives Matter? And why I'm always calling them out for their hypocrisy. Let's roll the video. A seven-year-old girl is dead, shot and killed in a McDonald's drive through on Chicago's west side. And CBS 2 Stephen Graves talked with the family of Jaslyn Adams, who are begging people to put away their guns. Really emotional right now for my family. Tearful, pain-filled words from Jaslyn Adams' aunt as she remembers the seven-year-old as funny and joyful. She just a sweet and outgoing, real talkative, real lovable. Family spoke from right outside Stroger Hospital where the girl died. A Chicago police officer rushing her here from about two miles away inside this bullet ridden car. It was sitting in a McDonald's drive through at Roosevelt and Kedzie. At least 30 shell casings surrounded the vehicle. The tinted windows on the side were shot out bullet holes in the frame and back window as well. Investigators say Jaslyn was hit multiple times around 415 Sunday afternoon. Family says her father, Jonte Adams, was also hit. Chicago police saying the 29 year old man was shot in the upper body. He should survive. Jaslyn's grandmother tells CBS2 Jonte called her as soon as the shooting happened, saying, quote, they shot my baby. Chicago police now looking into who those people are. It's unclear if this was targeted, but officers have not said the public is at risk. But for now, family devastated that their innocent girl is gone. Someone who simply loved TikTok videos and laughing. Y'all, please put the guns down. Our kids want to play. My kids can't even go out the door because of this gun violence. Y'all, please put the guns down. Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News.